I used to think that go bags were for pregnant moms to be and Raymond Reddington from The Blacklist. God, I do love him. But then I had a California wildfire in my backyard and a sheriff at my door telling me I needed to evacuate. What? Um, what? What? Like, as it started to sink in, I thought, Where's my go bag? What what do I even need? Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Perrier, otherwise known as Jessica Posh, and yesterday I had a freaking day. Keep watching if you want to hear all about it. So I started my Sunday morning nice and I was making French toast and apparently my garbage disposal had had enough eggshells because when I turned it on during cleanup, water started cascading out of the bottom cabinet. Yay! No, literally the water was so ridiculous, like shooting out like fireworks, that I almost wanted to recreate the whole event to take a video of it because it was that ridiculous. <laughs> Enter situation one of my Sunday. The pipe wrench. Don't worry, I got the pipes taken care of. It was just a little clog of some eggshells and once I cleared it out, everything is working fine. So I continued on my day. Feeling all accomplished after fixing a, you know, clogged pipe, I was thinking, well, geez, let me just power through my to-do list. So I started marking things off and I was making really good progress. So around like 2.30 in the afternoon, my TV and couch started calling my name. No, like literally calling my name. Hardcore. I mean, it's Sunday, so I figure, well, let me cross two more things off my list, switch the load of laundry, and then I'm gonna call it good and, you know, couch it for the rest of the day. So I go to switch my laundry over, and the light's out, and I'm like, oh, it must be a breaker or something. So I go to check that, and I realize, well, this other light is out, and then it clicks to me like all of the power is out in the house. Oh, that's really gonna interfere with my TV time. Ugh. Then I start to hear the fire trucks, then I start to hear the air traffic. Something is going on. So with something going on, naturally, I head to Facebook. I go into my group chat and I let my friends know, hey, my power was out. Then I heard fire trucks. Now I hear airplanes. Like something's really going on, guys. And then I go over to this incident Facebook group that I'm a member of for my local like neighborhood or community or whatever. I think it's the county. Anyway, and I see the plumes of smoke. Somebody has taken a picture. And then I start to read more about the situation. Guys, the fire literally started on my road like literal my road that I live on. So of course I report that to my friends in my group chat because of course I'm going to report to my friends on Facebook. And naturally they tell me to leave immediately. I'm like, but guys, I don't leave my house on a Sunday. I guess I'm still kind of like, I don't know, like in disbelief at this point because I don't leave immediately even though I probably should have. Everything starts happening so freaking fast. More air traffic, more air traffic. I go outside, I can see the smoke now, and it's super close. I actually took a little video, and I'll try to splice it in here, of like the flame retardant being dumped on the fire. The fire was literally on my road. I still can't even believe this happened. So at this point, it's finally sinking in. Huh, I, I should probably leave my house. So I call my girlfriend who works for the police department and explain the situation. And she's like, oh, don't worry. If you needed to evacuate, they would have come to your door. Literally at that moment, I look out my window and I see police lights at my gate and a gentleman walking up my driveway. They were here to evacuate me. Shit just got real. Meanwhile, my friends are like, Jessica, are you out yet? I hope she's not responding because she's leaving her house, blah, blah, blah. Which brings me to the point of this video. Guys, we need to have a go bag. So when I'm at home on a Sunday, hanging out, I like to be comfortable. And really, I don't wear that many clothes, slash any clothes. So when I finally realize like I really need to leave, I'm like, okay, well, I need to get dressed, and then all of a sudden, like, the panic starts to set in, and I can't find anything that I need. I mean, obviously, it all happened very fast, and I did find everything that I needed, but if I had a go bag that I could go straight to when I needed to leave immediately, I would have had a lot less stress in my life. Guys, I was running around my house looking for things that I needed, looking for things that I should maybe need that I didn't know that I needed. Like, I was yelling out loud to myself, like, Jessica, you got this. Okay, you got this. Oh my God, Jessica, what is the code to your safe? Like, I literally couldn't remember the code to my safe. So I'm glad that my house didn't burn down because I didn't have anything in my safe and that's where I keep important things. <laughs> At one point I'm like, Jessica, get it together. I brought a bag out to my car and I could hear firefighters in like the near distance like I could hear them talking and they were saying the grass is starting to catch on fire. I could hear them talking like in the distance of my backyard that the grass was setting on fire. Hello. 
I started running around my house so much and I started to panic a little bit that I was getting so hot that for a split second, don't judge me, I was like, oh God, is the fire closer? Because I was getting so hot. Clearly, I knew the fire wasn't on top of me making me hot, but it did actually make me panic for a hot second. So I finally get all of my shit together. Everything's in the car and the power's out so the garage door won't open. Oh my God, I'm trapped. <laughs> Not really. I again, thought I was trapped for just a split second, and then I pulled that emergency little chain that I'm gonna show you so that you never get stuck in your garage when your power is out. Okay guys, so we're in my garage, and I never want you to get stuck inside your garage. It's super easy, and I'm pretty sure that most garage door openers work the same. If for whatever reason your opener is not working because your power's out or it's just not working, whatever, you grab this, it's a little red handle, and you pull directly down and that releases the automatic opener so you can escape being trapped in your garage. Pulled that emergency chain, lifted the door, and shot out of there like a rocket. I calm down in my driveway and there's another officer in my driveway. Ma'am, you need to leave right now. And I'm like, I'm leaving right now. This was really stressful, guys. And so then as I'm pulling away from my house, looking in the rearview mirror, I'm thinking, gosh, I hope my house doesn't burn down and I hope I didn't forget anything important. Spoiler alert, I forgot a lot of things. But my house didn't burn down. Anyway, that was a long story to tell you. I did get out, the fire was contained, my house didn't burn down, and I was actually able to return back home late last night. Thank goodness. I kind of consider yesterday like my fire drill, if you will, so now I can be better prepared. And I wanted to make this video to talk about the idea of a go bag, because I want you to be better prepared too. Side note, they say bad things happen in threes. So yesterday I had the sink situation, I had the evacuation situation, and you'll see I'm sporting stripper on my thumb because literally when I got the notice that I could go back home, I was walking to my car and I got attacked by a bee. Literally attacked by a bee. I screamed out loud. You guys, yesterday was such a freaking day. I screamed when the bee stung me. It still hurts. I was like, my whole thumb is going numb. It was a very dramatic day. Okay, back to the go bag contents. You need to have a bra, and I recommend a sports bra because it can double as a tank top in a pinch. When you evacuate your house, you might not be as lucky as me and be able to go back later that night. You might be stuck out for a couple of days, or worst case scenario for a really long time if the fire does reach you or whatever you're evacuating from. I don't even know. We're making a go bag. Make sure there's a bra in there. I'm not going to show you my panties, but make sure you put a couple pairs in there too. That way, you know, you're not running around your house stressed out about looking for a pair of clean underwear like me. I can't make this shit up, guys. Put a bottle of water in your go bag because as soon as I got on the road and I was actually like driving to safety, I was so freaking thirsty and I was just like, oh God, I need water. So put a bottle of water in there. And if you're bougie like me, make sure it's a Fiji or a Voss. <laughs> Toothbrush. You're not going to think of these things as you're running around trying to leave in a hurry, but if you have a go bag in place, you'll be so happy that you did. Think of these things in advance. Flip flops. Gotta be comfy. Bring a stack of cash. You're going to need some money. Obviously, you're not going to have your electronics stored in your go bag, but definitely store an extra charger. That way your electronics will keep working no matter where you are. Maybe keep your passport and your social security cards in there. If not in there, make sure you know the code to your safe and keep your go bag near your safe so that you can grab all of that stuff on your way out. You know, I've seen it on TV that people had to evacuate and they only had a few minutes to grab things, but you don't really realize what it feels like until you're actually in that situation. Thank goodness that it wasn't, I mean, I guess it was kind of life-threatening. It didn't end up being life-threatening because, hello, I didn't sustain any fire damage here, but I could have. And so leaving in a hurry was super stressful. So really do. Some of the stuff I'm talking about right now is kind of funny, but heed my advice and really think about putting these things in one place where you can grab and go. My last advice was something that I really wouldn't have thought of before, but hand write out important phone numbers and addresses. When I left my house yesterday, if God forbid I didn't have my cell phone with me, 
I wouldn't have had any contact information. I don't know anybody's phone number or address even. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know what to do. So write down in case of emergency, all of the information that you need, like hard copy and put that in your go bag. So that was basically my Sunday in a nutshell. I was at home on the couch wanting to watch Big Brother by about 10 p.m. Unfortunately, my power wasn't restored until after Big Brother, so my DVR didn't actually catch it. So I'll be waiting for them to post it online and watching it today, um, but I wanted to tell you about my day. I'm also stripping because I need this stinger to come out of my thumb because it still hurts and it's a little swollen. <laughs> Whew, well, all of July I was on the road um, for trips visiting friends and family and posh and all of that fun stuff. I'm home the entire month of August. So I'm really excited to create more content for you guys. If you enjoyed hearing about my crazy day yesterday, be sure to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another Jessica Posh video. I've got lots coming your way. I hope you guys have a great day. Hey, and thanks for watching. That is such a mouthful. Ugh. Time, move the road. Why do bugs keep touching me? Woo!